And Thank Brett you. Tolman is a former federal prosecutor and right on crime executive editor. All right, Brett, uh, this guy, Hunter Biden, right now is awaiting the approval of a plea bargain uh, that has been arranged. I understand the date for the plea is scheduled, I think it's July 26th. Now, we have two steps. One, will the judge accept this plea bargain of two misdemeanors and not even a not even a uh, uh, an arraignment on the gun charge, but a uh, some kind of a program. Uh, and number two, uh, how can this impact that, if at all? Judge, thanks for having me on. These are uh, incredible times to be discovering that uh, there may be cocaine uh, in in <clears throat> you know an unreal location. I've been to that location multiple times, and uh, Stephen was was very accurate. It is very limited who can be in that area. So let's let's say that Hunter Biden going into his plea uh, agreement. All attention is on that judge, and there's mounting pressure on the judge because so many of us have been, you know, very loudly proclaiming the absurdity of this plea deal. Um, DOJ never gives diversions. Um, <laughs> I, I looked at 189,000 different gun violation cases. Not one got a diversion. Let me let me interrupt so, you there, Brett, for one second. Don't you get into a diversion program if you've got some kind of problem that you're dealing with? I mean, what are they diverting it in for? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because the the requirements that they're putting on him are that he's not supposed to do drugs and he's not supposed to possess a firearm. Well, that's easy enough. Just give him a felony and let him suffer the consequences like everybody else for for his his felonious, you know, activities. But this this bag of cocaine, if it has any connection, any connection whatsoever to Hunter, it is a game changer. Um, the federal the federal drug laws are are very tough, even on small amounts. Five grams of a of a cocaine base can get you a mandatory minimum five years in federal prison. That's right. It will all depend on what the pro prosecutors want to do, but this is this is a very treacherous territory for, for Hunter Biden. Well, doesn't the fact, Brett Tolman, that Karine Jean-Pierre wouldn't even speculate on whether or not someone would be a potential prosecution, and her talking about how difficult it might be, and there was no outrage, there was no anger. Do you get the sense that, that this administration would rather this thing just go away? It doesn't sound like we're going to get who did this. We, we should be the safest place, you know, in the country. Exactly. Judge, this isn't the same as Willie Nelson smoking a joint on the top of the White House with President Carter. This is, you know, cocaine. It's a Schedule II narcotic, stiff penalties for its distribution, and it's currently ravaging our streets. Okay. So I, I would hope they're taking it more serious than what we've seen. Uh, certainly. Well, Brett Tolman, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.